Hey guys, so today's going to be a little bit different. Um, today's a really special day and I want to explain why for a minute. So today is March 31st and that is the number 321. And that's a really special number for me. And you know, there's a lot of different numbers that follow me for a very long time now. But 321 has been one that has followed me since... I was, you know, I, for years now, since really the beginning of my awakening. And, you know, it's hard to pinpoint an exact day that my spiritual awakening began. But um, I would say from the time that I really committed to this and committed to myself and my self-actualization and my awakening and expansion and journey to self-love, 321 has been following me forever. So, the reason why I'm bringing this up is today is March 31st, and I always look forward to this date every single year for that reason. You know, there's a lot of numbers that follow me, 333, 444, 1111, you know, all of those, but 321 is particularly special for me, and it's because 321 has um, a significance attached to the ascended, uh, the ascended Masters, and I'm very connected with these ascended beings and I work with them. Some of you are familiar with my light language videos. So you may see that, you know, I do have a connection with these beings. And I just feel like uh, in a really good mood today. And I want to share some things with you because um, it's a beautiful day out today. And I just um, really want to share myself and, and post a video today honoring 321 so I will have a light language for you at the end of this video geared towards 321 and I'll talk a little bit about what came through at the end of it but before then I just want to share a couple like cool manifestations that happened today um, so I lost my apophyllite like um, a couple months ago now like probably four or five months ago and I was like totally devastated because I loved it. It was a small little apophyllite stone and I loved it and it just disappeared and I just trusted that, you know, if it was lost, it would find the right owner and if I was meant to have it, it would resurface and I would get it back. And I think I finally am meant to have it again because today I was cleaning up my room and I found it on the side of my bed and so I'm just really excited because it's it was a really special stone. Um, it does need some cleansing, so I will have to like do a little saging. Once it's a full moon, I believe, so I'll just put it out there and let it soak up those energies and be cleared. But um, yeah, today is just a really special day, and I've been, you know, because I look forward to this day every year, there's a lot of cool things that manifest, and I'm just looking forward for the rest of today, and I just woke up in a good mood, and it was a very 5D kind of mood because it was like not like I wasn't having emotions. I was having emotions and I was having things come up, but I was just just moving with it. I was just moving through it. I wasn't resisting it. I wasn't feeling like I need to just go into it. It was just like things coming up and then it was okay. It was just like a cloud passing by and I was totally fine with these emotions coming up. And, like, things that would normally trigger me, it's not that they wouldn't trigger me, it was that I was okay with the trigger, you know, it would just happen and then it would just, like, flow. And, I don't know, it's just the weirdest thing, and some of you I know have had a taste of 5D like this. And it's a really cool feeling to feel like you're okay, you're, like, you're here. I had a friend of mine last night sent me this article and she, it, it was talking about how when people greet you they say how are you and you're like you you know human beings just it's natural to just say i'm fine and there's so much resistance in that word in those words i'm fine because sometimes we're not fine and i hate saying i'm fine when i'm not fine so in the article it talked about another phrase that we can replace with I'm fine and that's I'm here so instead of saying I'm fine when someone asks you how are you tell them 
I'm here. I made it another day. You know, despite everything, I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still living. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm real. Those are really powerful words that you can identify with yourself without bypassing, without lying to yourself. So I really appreciated that. So I'm just in a really good mood today, and this is sort of like a stream of consciousness video. Um, you know, oh, like right here, like the other day, I, I'm not a painter, but I just painted something. And, you know, I think it's really something I could get into because it was a really great expression that um, I was able to emote and just like release. And it feels good to paint. And it was at this event, they're called paint nights. And I went with one of my friends and it was a really great experience and it really opened me opened myself up to this world of art and you know i've always loved art i've always loved drawing and i wanted to be an artist i think like that was one of the first things i ever wanted to be when i was younger and um i never thought that i could paint and you know this is i'm not like an artist or anything but i painted this and i was really proud of it just because i painted it you know so, her name is Coco Caliente because she's spicy. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, um, I never had any, I always wanted to paint, but I never really had any technique, and I didn't know where to begin or where to start or, or you know, how to just go about it. But um, they walk you through it step by step, and it was really a fun experience because you get to just hang out with your friends and and um you know just get to paint and they teach you they work with you it's like a class well it's yeah it's basically like a class but it's like um a social environment so you can just paint and, and just enjoy yourselves and if you have questions you can ask the instructor personally or they just they're just in front of you and they teach you they say okay use the big brush use a small brush for this um, use this motion to make this effect so like there's these different hues and stuff on the side and on the bottom that you can see and you know they help you do that stuff and I learned a lot of different techniques by taking this um, it's not even a class but just by going to this event I learned a lot and I totally want to go buy painting supplies and just paint now because I understand the mechanics of it now so I can really put it together I didn't, I didn't know how to do this stuff before, so again, I'm not a painter, but I was really proud of it, like, I created something, and whenever you create something, um, you know, you, you're you proud of it, and yeah, so I just have this now, and I'm totally willing to go to another one, because they make some really cool things, this one we didn't, I didn't really know what we were going to paint this time around, but I think you can go online and you can choose which one you want to. Uh, which ones you want to do and they have it on specific dates so if you guys are interested you should totally do that so yeah um today's just been a really cool day really chill day i'm just really in myself today and um and feeling grateful for everyone and for all those things i've had a lot of opportunities come up and i, I think um I, th I believe well, I've read some things about the number three, two, one, those numbers. Um, I've read some things about them before and it talked about opportunities and you know, if that, if that, oppor if those numbers come up, um, really go after those opportunities because they're going to prove to be worthwhile and they're going to prove to, you know, take you to that next place that you need to be. And I've had a couple people approach me to do a couple different projects. So I'm, um, you know, they are scary because a lot of like different shadows and, and things come up when you put yourself out there in something that you're not used to doing. So a lot of things were coming up and I was kind of hesitant at first, but I'm totally willing to go for it now because I know that it's going to work out and I know that I just kind of need to do it. And once I do it, I'm just going to, you know, allow that channel to flow and just just um you know take take what life throws me and and, and just uh, make the best out of it so 
Yeah, so I'm just going to right now get a little centered and I'm going to deliver a light language transmission for you guys today. This one is going to be on the number 321. So it's going to be a 321 transmission. And I'll talk a little bit at the end about anything that comes through and what they want to address because there's a lot of different energies coming through um, collectively right now on Earth and um, they really want that to be known. So I'm just going to get censored right now. And I'll, oh, another thing before I begin, I want to show you this awesome necklace that my friend Denise sent me. It's really badass. I love it. See, it's like, it's, um, Labradorite, it's obsidian, and this is moonstone here. And I love the energies, and it's very uh, much a balance of masculine and feminine. So, she's amazing, and I really want her to, like, open up an Etsy shop or something, because she her work is amazing. Her name is Denise Sack, and she's a really dear friend of mine. So, um, she makes really beautiful pieces, and she's, like, an expert copper wire worker, so I'm in love with this, and I could wear it every single day if I could. Um, but yeah, that, that, like, there's so many things that I could show you right now, but I don't want this video to go on for, like, a half an hour, so I'm just going to get centered, and I'm going to deliver this transmission, because I have these beings coming through right now, and they're insistent and there are a lot of ascended beings coming through so as 321 is the number of ascended beings so like with any of these light language transmissions I just like to remind you guys in order to receive these you have to be in an open and receptive state so what I want to ask of you through your own free will is to get in a comfortable position and when you feel ready and guided I want you to drop into your heart space and communicate the message that you're open and willing to receive this transmission. You can pause this if you need a minute to just get centered and relaxed. And when I'm ready, I will begin. Para asar at tigiri yota sara ta amzo wishigiri tigiu ka ana uso sara to ombo koro o hayaka ara acha tigiri tigiri tigiota ka chichi ata amzo ukiri popara tega asahe iri imoko oro ori ti imoka ane iya ha ara oto o shipsiri tigiu umo oto oro to uso ko ini imoka ara asa ana ini ano ono imoko shuki usha umo imoko ini imoka Iri iro taka asa amzuro te ui ini imoka aya ara ata kashishiri iri tabaka ana amsaka ishishini iyo ko oro ono bokoro toko shiri ti uru te umso toro te iri to umso iri iki aka ara aka i ini osa asa ra ate iti uru toko umbo uru to amsi ipsa ara aro ini imoko ara ara ashishini iki opa ara ta amzo ishini i ipi ki oka aka aya ni imoka a Ara ara asa sora ta amzo mzuri iti o toko oro to umbo bora to oto to oto ro te ki o to amzo iri ti o ka. Ara amzo iri i o sa asa ra ta asiri shishiri ti ki o ka. Ara oto ro te imzo to to oto ro to ko amzo mzuri to oto iri ti 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 ro ta ka ta 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 iri ti 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 o ka ta ro te amzo iri ti o ka. Aori i bo bora to ko umi iri iri ti o ta ka shishiri i ni mo ko lo umzo mzuri i ni mo ko iri o ka. Ara ali ni i cho i o mo ki o ra o i ni. Ora om otoro toko uso jiri ti o toko sa ka ai ni ni mo haya. Ai desu jiri ti o ka ara ata sarata om zuri ishi ni ii ni mo ka ara ata sarata om zuri jiri ti pokoro. Ora otoro toko ishi mi jiri ti o ta ka ata ka atsu shiri ti ii ti mi zuri otoro toko toko ga o mo to uko ro ti o ta omsu ka ai ni ii. Marata asare te ki o ta shi shiri ti ii ni ii ki ii ni ata ka ali ii ni ii o ma ki. Iri i o pataka asa ana asha shara ni i ni o toko oro o to to sara ta o mzu i ni ti o to o ta ka o to o shu mi popo to to popo to o mbo to to i ni te ki te i ti o ta ka ai. Ini i mi ki o ka ara ta a jimjiri i o ta ki ina mataka e ni 
ir jau tas tokia arata azer, nu žiūrėt, kaip jau tai eini jau tokia, nu žiūrėt, čia Lietuvų zūdį, nu žiūrėt, tai jau jau nuk arata azer, kas čia žiūrėt, jau tokia, jau nukia yra tą alinį, nuk ūrų, nuk ūrų, jau tokia, ara azer, jau tokia, 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 jau Įmė jau maka arę ha, ala įmė jau tokia kūšio šiandien, įmė jau tokia įmė jau tokia įsiratėjai, įmė jau tokia. Umbra ta asra ta aši šiandien, įmė jau tokia umbra kūrų, tokia įpė kai per tokia sako tu šio tu jau mūgiau, nu koko umbra ugo, jis tokia mūžio umbra, nukora ugo šio mūžio ratu ausu ugo umbra, kura tokia tokia yra tokia asra šiandien, ta aši šiandien, įmė jau tokia 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 įmė Aš yra tą ašį užuom šiandien jau šiandien jau tai jau tai tai. Ar tą ašį yra 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 tą ašį. Al jį mėg jau tokia yra tą ašį yra tą ašį. Ar tą ašį yra šį yra tą ašį yra tą ašį. Ai jau ho, ai jau ho, ai jau ho. Ai jau ašį yra tą 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 Agara ta asap sarate jau to tuko šio įmė įmė pagara, ar ta įsiai zyrate jau tam zyrėt kas neka ta sakrata kai jau tai jau tai sikrata tai jau sikrata kai šiūrėti jau sikrata kam surkura tu šiūrėti kai sikrata 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 Ara kai šiuo prie būtų ir sikrata ką ar mūsų visą būtų papuolį tokį turi tokį 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 Imagining these cozy frequencies around you like a mist. And as you inhale, I want you to consciously inhale these frequencies through your heart space. And as you exhale, I want you to allow these intelligent frequencies to shower your energy body, taking its course, activating any dormant DNA that is ready to be activated. welcoming these frequencies just breathing with these energies Grounding them in your frequency. <sighs> okay. So that was sort of a um, an activation and an upgrade because there are a lot of different and new energies coming in right now. They're explaining um, into into Earth right now that haven't been introduced to this dimension before. So. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me. Sometimes when I finish these light language transmissions, I'm very disembodied and it's hard for me to articulate my words efficiently. So um, basically what came through was an upgrade and an energy activation. So if you guys listen to this part of the video, you are ready for this activation and you're ready to be propelled into um, the next vibrational stage of your spiritual evolution. So these um there the being that came through was krishna and he is a very special being to me excuse me um yeah he's very special to me and he's coming through with a lot of love and um a lot of um new energies that i haven't really been accustomed to before but with a lot of talk about ascension and all these things he wanted to be known that ascension is going to be occurring in an individual fashion. 
So you'll have to excuse me, my my computer just <laughs> fell asleep. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's saying that ascension is going to be occurring on an individual basis. So it's not going to be the whole world ascending at the same time. So there's going to be a vibrational dissonance, I guess you could say. There's going to be those people who are existing in the higher dimensional frequencies, like the fourth and fifth dimension. And then there's going to be the people operating in the third dimensional realities. So those are the people who operate in power and control, sort of like our government. And so those people who are powerless and who are in that vibrational, that low vibrational state are going to be a match to um, uh, being controlled. You know, the powerless are the ones who are subject to being controlled. So there, there are going to be people who are existing in that third dimensional realm, but then there are going to be us. There are going to be those people who have awakened and who have evolved spiritually and are um, ascended, so to speak. So those people are going to be operating in the fourth and fifth dimensional space, eventually the fifth dimension. So, you know, we're going to just be basking in our bliss, basking in our bliss, and then, you know, slowly but surely people are going to either ascend with us or they're going to, you know, just be met in another dimensional existence, which is a match to, you know, um, you know, where they're headed. So I don't want to scare people, but like, you know, those people who don't match the new frequency are just not going to be around anymore. So we're not going to be engaging with those people anymore because there won't be a vibrational match to our frequency anymore. So they're talking about also manifestation. Um, manifesting is going, we're noticing, and I have noticed this through a lot of you um, and myself, manifestation is going to be, um, the buffer time is going to continue to get thinner and thinner. So, but what I mean by buffer time is, you know, thoughts create reality, as we know. So when we think a thought and we, and we vibrate at that thought, we are manifesting that thing. But here in the third dimension, it takes a little bit longer. There's a buffer time for it to manifest. So what we're noticing right now is that buffer time is getting thinner and thinner. So you're going to think a thought and you're going to be seeing synchronicities of that thought almost immediately. And I think that we've, a lot of us have been experiencing that more and more recently. So really, really practice and hone your manifestation abilities because your thoughts are more important than ever right now. And, you know, if you really master your thoughts and master your manifestation skills, you can really, really create the life that you really want to live more than ever before right now. It's going to be much easier to do that. At the same time, when we think thoughts that are, and I don't want you to be afraid of your thoughts, by the way, I'm just saying um, it's a good thing to um, be able to dictate our thoughts and while also allowing us to feel emotions, of course, and allowing whatever things that are coming up to come up. But by, you know, dictating our thoughts, and this is more talking about manifest manifesting the life that you want to live, um, we are, it's just going to be much easier to manifest that right now um and you know that goes the opposite end as well so if we are really focused and we are putting our focus and our energy towards things that we don't want in our in our future um we are going to you know we, we are still adding to that energy and we're manifesting that which we don't want so really take this time to focus on what it is that you want out of this life and the things that you want to achieve, where you want your happiness to be, how that happiness um, will come to you, on what vessel does that come through, where does your happiness lie in this lifetime. So once you really solidify that and s communicate that message to the universe, what it is you really want to manifest, you're going to be in a place where you are able to manifest that at a rate that is much quicker than we've ever we've ever experienced before on this plane of existence so yeah so um lots of manifestation law of attraction they're talking about which i know a lot of you guys already know you know like attracts like i create my own reality by virtue of my thoughts and um yeah that these beings there there are plenty plenty of 
high um, vibrational beings, ascended beings, extraterrestrials who are among us right now. They're right behind me. They're all around me. They're all around you. They are everywhere right now. We just can't see them. And, you know, we will reach a place where we will coexist together. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, when is that going to happen? When will there be exposure? When will there be all these things? It's not going to just happen just like that, but there are going to be things that, things that happen that our government and, and people who are out to like um, hide this stuff, they, they won't be able to explain it. There'll be things and they'll ha they'll be forced to, you know, come out and be like, okay, this does exist. So that's going to be the way that it's going to come out because, excuse me, the way that they're conveying this is, you know, there are a lot of resistant forces around us who don't want this stuff to come out, obviously, um, out of power and control, and they want to stay in power and control. And these beings threaten that. But there's so many of us awakening and liberating ourselves and healing ourselves that you know there's not a choice by virtue of law of attraction when there is a higher frequency the lower frequency must match that higher frequency so us the more of us wake awakening and expanding and healing ourselves we are bringing people along with us so we are creating the world that we have wanted all along and it starts with you guys so it's just a reminder from these beings from krishna and from various other ascended beings um, that, you know, power is within us and we are all gods, we are all masters and we deserve to live the life that that we have always dreamed of living before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this light language transmission. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video still ended up being really long, but um, I really wanted to share myself with you guys in this way today. So thank you guys for this opportunity to share and and be seen and appreciated in this way. I learn as much from you guys as you do from me. So thank you guys for participating in my journey in this way as well. So thank you guys. I love you all so much. Peace and love.